Good morning, my friends. It's Saturday, April 6th. I am on my way down to Bonita Springs, Florida. I drove half the way last night and half the way I will drive this morning. I'm doing a funeral in Bonita Springs. And I have with me another beautiful painting by Frederick Edwin Church. This is of a waterfall in Bogota. Incredible. Growing up as a little girl, I lived near a waterfall and it was so magical. You could walk behind it. There was this beautiful space of mist between the waterfall and the rocks behind. Like another world full of rainbows and mystery. The selected readings for today take us into Mark's gospel, back to when Jesus was walking the earth as a regular, well, he was never regular, but as a, as a man, as a human being. The Sadducees try to give him a riddle. These scribes and scholars were always trying to stump Jesus to make him look like he didn't know as much about God as he thought he did. What a dumb exercise for them. But in this riddle, they say that according to Hebraic law, if um, a woman is married and has no children and her husband dies and he is a brother, the brother is to marry her and they are to have children and he's to raise them as his brothers, the deceased brother. Well, they said, well, what if a woman marries a man and he dies and another dies and another dies and so on and so on until she's married seven brothers and there are no children and all the brothers die and then she dies. Whose wife is she in heaven? Jesus explains that there is no marriage or giving in marriage in the resurrection life in heaven. We are like the angels, he says. I take that to mean that after death, when our bodies are going into the ground, we become like celestial beings without lust or hunger or the other bodily temptations that are wonderful but also part of our bodies and we become more. What a mystery. But then Jesus also says that God is the God of the living, not the dead. So this resurrection life is full of life. It is not an end, it is a completion. But we won't be married to one another and that kind of makes me sad. I found such a wonderful husband. Could I still be with him? I believe so. Who knows how? But the main point of all of this is that we can't understand. The Sadducees were trying and trying to show how much they know, but the truth is that even the most learned human beings that ever walked the earth, we know nothing. We know nothing beyond this life. It's in total trust that we fall into God's arms upon our dying and believe that in rising, we will see. We will see clearly and we will know so much more than we know right now. And we will love. I wouldn't worry about that part. That part is clear. Marriage or no, we will love. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of knowledge, for the gift of wisdom, for the, the reading of scripture. Help us the more we learn to accept with humility how much we do not know. Help us to trust that beyond this life, there is so much more that our human brains cannot conceive of, that our laws and regulations will not touch, but love will join us in a new life with you. We ask that you would bless the sick and the suffering today, all who mourn or struggle in any way. I invite you all to say the names of people who need prayer today.
We ask you, Lord, for peace throughout the world, a peace that only you can give and only you can understand. We ask that you would bless us with a reverence for this beautiful earth, help us to see it as a gift and a window into your grace and mercy. All this we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, who lived and walked among us and then rose to show us life beyond. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.